Hi again, everybody. Hey, long time no see. Guess what? I messed up on this last problem. I thought that final velocity right there was a little bit low, um, and it's because I left something out. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this right now so I have a place to write the correct answer. Anybody notice what I left out? This is a dumb clerical mistake. Um, I forgot to write in our G. 9.8 one. Everything else I, I left in there, 2MGH, so there's 2M, there's our G, and there's our H. That makes all the difference. Um, and it's going to give us an answer that is eh, kind of in the same ballpark, but it's, um, it's a little bit more reasonable. So, having redone it and checked my work again, I have all the answers, um, or all the values in there that I think I should have now. Uh, I get a final velocity, and I'll write this in, in red. I think I'm already in red. A velocity final, that is a linear velocity, is going to be 0 0.088 meters per second. So that's about 8 or 9 centimeters per second, and that's, I guess, a little bit more reasonable. Before, I had another 0 in there, and it seemed like we were only, like, in a couple, you know, like a fraction of a centimeter per second. That seemed to be kind of slow. But 8.8 .8 centimeters per second, or 0 0.088 meters per second, that's a little bit more reasonable. And I see why I messed it up, because I forgot to put in my G right there. So, if you caught that, good for you. Shame on me. Uh, but uh, thankfully, I caught it before we got too far along. So, or uh, until somebody else pointed it out to me. Anyway, that's the answer that I get now. Let me know if I made any other mistakes. Um, but the way we get there is the way we did it right here, using conservation of energy. Okay. Thanks for uh, following along once again, and I'll see you on the next one.